Local schools are teaching 9-11 history, pushing to make sure we never forget. Teachers share what happened that fateful day and how it has shaped our nation since. Aaron Guy has more on the lessons now being taught on the Treasure Coast about 9-11. A Tuesday 20 years ago changed the course of history in Richard Meyer's life journey. I served five years as an infantryman, as a sniper, deployed to Afghanistan, deployed to Iraq, um, did all the things you see on TV in the 10th Mountain Division. 9-11 inspired Meyer to join the front lines of the fight against terror. They've lived and grown up in a post 9-11 world. So understanding, uh, you know, how our country was functioning, the way in which we were going through our daily lives and how that changed because of 9-11, I think that's a, a tremendous uh, reason why we need to cover that. As the assistant superintendent in Indian River County, teaching what happened on 9-11 to children is not only a high priority for Meyer, but other educators who learned by living it. Life completely changed after that. In 2001, Citrus Elementary School principal Kimberly Garcia was 20 minutes outside the city on Long Island. I remember vividly that um, the fighter planes flew above my head that night from the armed forces. And while I felt a little bit safer seeing them, I realized the severity of how life really was going to change after that. Teaching the horrific tragedy started immediately for her fourth graders. My kids needed to feel in control in some way, and we ended up having a, a book sale with used books, and we raised over $1,500, and we bought socks for the firemen who were working um, the Trade Center. On this anniversary, she'll have a day of caring, planting seeds of kindness in a garden, all to remember those lost. I was in my classroom uh, teaching, and uh, the first thing that caught my attention were the sirens. There were a lot of police car sirens and ambulance sirens. The day of the terror attacks, Jacqueline Rosario was a high school teacher in Manhattan. At that point, we were hearing people say the, the bridges have been closed down. The bridges are not functioning. You can't get your car across the bridge. I remember that I had a pair of flip flops in my trunk and I changed my shoes. Uh, they allowed us to keep our car in the parking garage uh, for as long as we needed. I, I changed my shoes and I just walked on over to the bridge and walked over the bridge. Rosario, who's now a board member in Indian River County, relives the site as thousands escape the unknown, watching emergency crews racing into the chaos. I probably stand behind all of them. And, and I thank them because when we're running away, and when I was walking over the bridge, they were running into the fire. They were running into the rubble. They were running in to save people. And that's something that we can never forget. So I think it's important that whenever something historic happens, especially on our soil, that we remember it. And if we don't talk about it, we will forget. And I don't think that we should let our guards down. I think that we should always have our guards up to remember and honor those who have worked so hard to fight for this country and for our freedoms. For 9-11, always remember, I'm Erin Guy.